What's up? Oh, hi there. Tyler. Keith. Plugged on. We're going to talk about a new Ozzy Osbourne song. Yeah. Not Weird. something I thought was going to happen. As you said, it um, kind of yeah. seemed like it came out of nowhere. Yeah, sort of. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Ozzy's recently came out and said, like, yeah, there's no point in making music anymore. You know, it just doesn't sell as well. It's like, okay, you know, whatever, fine. Like, you don't need to make music. You're fucking Ozzy. So you can just tour for the rest of your right. life and you'll be fine. Right. Um, but then he's had all these health complications and in his written an album and it was just a couple of weeks ago that kind of came out that he has his album and it's done and he's just like yeah it's done it's it's the best thing I've ever done according to him put his heart and soul into it we'll see when the whole album comes out fair enough but um yeah kind of kind of nowhere so the album's gonna be called Ordinary Man it's gonna be his first album in nine years or no yeah nine years um it'll come out in 2020 um, okay like I said Nine, nine, ten years, whatever. Scream was the last yeah. album, 2010. Yeah, it'll be about ten by that point. Yeah. So, I was curious, before we get into the song, who who did he record with um, to do this? Because his last album he did with, like, Gus G uh, instead of Zach Wilde. Um, he recorded this album with Andrew Watt, who's also the producer of the album. Andrew Watt played guitar. Uh, Duff McKagan from Guns N' Roses is on bass, and Chad Smith from the Red Hot Chili Peppers is on drums. Not okay, bad. not bad. That's a that's a pretty stacked lineup. Yeah. So, get into the song, but uh, the song definitely does have a different feel for Ozzy Osbourne. I think. Yeah. Um, it definitely feels like a little bit different. It's like just because it's. Uh, I mean, it's very much. I mean, it's like a very much a ballad and whatnot. The one part that really stuck out to me because it sounded the 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 part with the solo right before the end of the song. Mm-hmm. That sounds everything from just the way the solo sounds to the stuff that's underneath it. That sounds very Black Sabbath mm-hmm. like to me. I just like my. Um, but as a whole, I really like the song. I think it's it's good because the one thing is that was like with me with Scream I never really got into Scream I don't know what it was about that album it was just it just didn't click but like this song clicks I think and I think it's mostly because it's, it's weird and I shouldn't think this but it's, it's hard to you know with the, the way that the internet is and whatnot not to not think this surprised Ozzy sounds this good in some oh, ways it sounds fantastic like it's like I even think like again maybe his vocals sound better than like even on the last album. It's just there's it's I really like the you know when he's in, in during the chorus when he's singing you know under yeah. the graveyard. That's I'm like cool. This is this sounds really good. Which yeah the song's called under the graveyard. I don't know if I said that. No fair enough. Sounded, but anyways, <laughs> but um, Idiot. yeah I just I think the it's a slower paced song and it's it's a it's a it's a it's a really nice song to kind of come back to. It's very it's also a very simple song but I think it works. In this sort of context, like, because you know, it's very, very ballady. The whole thing, honestly, when I, I said that the one part sounds like Black Sabbath, the whole thing kind of, in some ways, reminds yeah, me a bit of Sabbath. It's kind of more of like a blues vibe to it, sort of. Yeah, which you, especially because which, especially I didn't know who was in it when you when you mentioned that there's also like some, uh, especially with having like Duff Duff McCagan on Duff McCagan on there. It's like, yeah, I can you can kind of hear a little bit just some of that stuff. I can kind of see where some of those influences come in. Like I said, the solo was sounding very Sabbath. I liked it. It's a good solo. Um, I'm not really a guitar person, so I can't really comment on technicality. Why not? The tone. I really like the guitar tone. That was one thing mm-hmm. I noticed with the solo. It's a different sort of sound to it. But um, yeah, I mean, it does seem like uh, if you know that Ozzy seemed to have put a lot of heart and soul into writing this. So I mean, if the rest of the album's as good as this, I'll be. Yeah, I'm all I'm all on board because I yeah. I really like the song. Yeah, me too. I, at first, upon my first listen, I was up pretty late last night, and Spotify always updates everything at midnight. So I'm like, yeah, hey, fuck it, I'll see if it's up. I listened to it, and I was just like, you know what? It's not bad, but I went to bed trying to think of like, how did that song go? And I was like, I, I don't know. It just didn't stick with me. I'm like, I couldn't even tell you how it went, but. I probably listened to it another four or five times today, and I feel like it just keeps growing on me a lot, and it's been stuck in my head all day. And I think my favorite parts are the verses, just because Ozzy sounds so fucking good, and I love the way he just pronounces everything, his flow. 
uh, vocally during the verses is just awesome. And then you get to the the chorus under the, you know under the graveyard. It just <laughs> it's it's good and it's overall got got a way catchy vibe. And I I like that you know it's a little bit different guitar tone, a little bit different sound because you know these these guys they're not going to be Zach Wild. They're not going to have that you know fucking heavy chunkiness too i mean i'm not saying there might not be any heavy sections on the album but you know zach wild has a signature sound yeah you know make your own sound and and i kind of kind of like that and i i just like the yeah the direction on it and i agree with just about everything you said it's it's a pretty fun song to listen to i too like it way more than just about anything on screen yeah I mean, it, the scream was like a thing where it was like I gave it kind of like the, a once over, and I'm like, yeah. man, this just isn't for me. Yeah, it's it's I don't know to me, especially you know the title track and everything. It's just it's corny, you know. And I I, I can't I just I don't like the song scream mostly because of how Ozzy sounds during the chorus and the way it's all produced is weird because like going back and forth. Yeah, I don't know, it just sounds weird. I don't know. I never never get into it, but. The album before that, Black Rain, fucking slaps. Oh my goodness, I fucking love that album. That's that's one of his best albums in my opinion. But yeah, Ozzy Osbourne, yeah, just didn't expect a, uh, a new Ozzy album. But what I will say, I am very excited for this album. And I feel that recently, old legacy acts in metal have just been fucking killing it. You know, like... The most recent Iron Maiden is one of their best. The most recent Judas Priest is one of their best. Overkill's fun kill and testament. Metallica. All these bands are just making awesome music and you know, I really hope that, you know, that this album is good and if it, it truly is Ozzy's last album, it really goes out on a high note because Scream's a little bit of a bummer album. To me. Yeah, it's like it's one of those things where I wonder if it's this thing where kind of all these bands are getting uh I mean, they're getting old kind of around the same time and it's like you know the all of the well let's just let's just see what we can do you know what i mean with like production styles and whatnot and then it's like let's just make let's just make good music and you know not just back to basics because that's something that maybe kind of seems also like with this song because that's the other thing a lot of the ozzy's like stuff from scream it's like over, very like almost it sounds like a weird complaint like overly catchy in some ways so it's like this is very like i feel like it's a back to Back to basics kind of thing. Like, it's like boom, mm-hmm. let's just write a good song and see yeah. where it goes. Yep. Definitely. Also, though, who the fuck is Ozzy Osbourne, you know? <laughs> like, I, I heard this guy, this guy named Ozzy on a Post song. Yeah, man. And, you know, he sounded pretty he's cool. Gonna, he's going to, you know, he's going to blow up someday, man. Yeah. I, I, he's going to get real big. And I, I just, I never heard of Ozzy before, but I'll have to give him a shot. Definitely. You should. You should too. This is our first time ever listening to Ozzy. I mean. Yeah, definitely. That's why. That's why we're talking about this. Because yeah. honestly, that was. This was the first Ozzy song I ever really checked mm-hmm. out. It's the first Ozzy song ever, really. I mean, yeah. to do that's like all kinds of underground stuff from like the eighties and stuff. It's like, whoa. Yeah, no. What? Thank you, Post. Thank you so much. <laughs> 